Hello there and welcome back to another tech news episode of Let's Talk by George. To be honest with you, we are constantly working towards making this segment more attractive to you. Attractive to you. So please bear with us for some moments. So we are um, trying to have more technical uh, team with us to enhance the experience. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin our episode today. Now, um, in today's episode, we know that this is the last day of 2022 January. Yes, guys, 2022 began with a loud noise in the tech field and we had the wonderful um, Android 12, which was released in uh, 2021 um, September. And we are going to have a new version of Android in the coming months. And we are going to have some new launches of mobile phone. So um, we had been discussing with our technical team and we found three interesting fonts which I just want to bring it to you and we hope to have the same fonts to be launched in India this month. So the first choice that we were discussing today was Oppo Reno 7 Pro 5G. Yes, we all know the company Oppo and they came up with the selfie fonts and those fonts were amazing, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, they had the Deepika 2 phone which is about 6.5 inches and we expect the price somewhere between 30,000 to 50,000. Well, this is an approximate guess. It has been launched in uh, China and I believe Europe also has this. I'm not sure. It is not yet confirmed very well. Um, the display is going to be AMOLED and it's going to be in 90 Hz and the dimensions are going to be 6.3 into 2.88 into 0.30 inches. And the operating system which the phone is going to bring out is it's, it, it is still on Android 11 so you cannot expect Android 12 to be the default operating system and the color OS version is going to be 12. I'm not sure why. <laughs> And the chipset it is going to have is MediaTek, so you are not going to get a Snapdragon, which is kind of, I don't know, if I'm trying to choose a phone, I always prefer to have Snapdragon. Um, then the memory capacity, it is going to come up, come in two different choices. One is 256 GB and 8 GB of RAM. Then the second one is the same internal, 256, but the memory is a bit different. It's going to give you 12 GB of RAM. Then the camera 50 megapixel main and the 32 MP selfie. Then the battery is going to deliver you 4500 milli ampers. Now the features that the phone is going to have is fingerprint. Of course, every phone has fingerprint and it's going to be one of the under display fingerprint. Then accelerometer, gyro and proximity compass and color spectrum. Well, that is about the Oppo um, Reno 7G and the next The second phone that we are going to have is Realme 9 Pro. Um, well, to talk about Realme, we all know what Realme is. It is the same company which owns Oppo, owns Realme. So we can say that they both are the same. And Realme is a wonderful device. I have not yet used Realme, but I have some friends who are using Realme and they are saying, okay, it's okay to use. We are not going to compare between brands, but uh, the phone they are going to bring out is Realme 9 Pro and the display size which the phone is going to have is 6.6 .6 inches and it's going to have a super AMOLED display with 120 Hz of refresh rate. I mean come on gamers it's, it, The phone is for you not for me. <laughs> I don't I don't play games, but 120 Hz and the super AMOLED display is going to give you a great visual experience now um, dimensions it's not something that that is known to us but we are having a vague idea that it's going to have 6.6 .6 inches operating system it is expected to have android 12 with the realme ui 3.0 that's cool at least one phone is giving you android 12 just joking a lot of phones are coming up with android 12 and they are testing it uh, now the chipset it is going to have is qualcomm sm6 375 Snapdragon, which is quite good. Uh, 695 5G. Um, so the processor is pretty much good. 
then the CPU it's going to have two CPUs one is 2, two into 2.2 gigahertz and uh, the other one is six cores into 1.7 gigahertz it's okay and the memory it's going to have is you're going to get two choices of memory the first one is 128 gig gigabyte of internal and 6 gigabyte of RAM. The second one is going to be 128 gigabyte of internal and 8 gigabyte of memory. Well, in memory side, I would say OPPO is much better. It's giving you 12 gigabyte. I mean, we have one more product to come, which is of Redmi. So let's uh, see that also. Then the camera, it's going to have a 64 megabyte or megapixel main camera. If you are a photographer, Try it and the 16 megapixel of selfie camera. Hmm, quite good. And the battery it's going to have 5000 milliamperes and the features again fingerprint under the display and its optical accelerometer, gyro proximity and compass. The last phone in our Android tech news today is of Xiaomi's Redmi Note 11 Yes, Well, Xiaomi is one of my favorite companies because it is having a lot of custom ROMs and I am a custom ROM lover. So let's guys, let's take a look at the specifications. Right now it's going to give you 6.3 inches of AMOLED 90 hertz. Oops, Realme was having 120 hertz. So we have a 90 hertz, whatever that is. Okay, let's compensate for that since it is Xiaomi and um, I, I do really like that phone. Uh, I'm not biased or I'm not telling you that this phone is really perfect or that phone is pretty much bad. Every phone is good. I mean, it's up to you, the user, um, to determine whether it's good or not. Well, I'm not going to give, give you any kind of judgments. Now the dimensions, it's going to give you 6.30 into 2.91 into 0.32 inch. Pretty good. And the operating system that is going to have is Android 11 MIUI 13. Well, I have done a wonderful review. I told two reviews of MIUI 13. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. I will post the description, the link for the video in the description below. So check the description. Okay. So that is about it. Then the um, chipset it is going to have is MediaTek Helio processor. Oh, I'm not very uh, fan of MediaTek. I always love Snapdragon. So we are not sure whether the Indian variant is going to have a Snapdragon. So this is not yet confirmed. And the CPU is going to have two cores into 2.05 GHz and six into 2.0 uh, GHz processor. And the, the, the memory is going to have three variants. So the starting variant is 6 GB, 6, 64 GB. Uh, so it's basically 64 into 6, 128 into um, 6, and 128 into 8 gigabyte. So the specifications are really nice. And we hope, we hope the prices are also going to be attractive. And the camera, it's going to have 108 megapixels of main camera. Yeah, you can click a lot of uh, beach pics. Beach pics? Nah. Anyway, whatever pics you want to click. And 16 MP selfie. So ladies, if you want to have a good camera phone, try uh, Redmi Note 11 S. Yes. 16 MP. And they do have some, what do you call, filters, which can make your face look whiter than whiter okay so the battery is going to have 5000 milliamperes of battery then the features fingerprint side mounted i mean come on show me why are you putting the fingerprint side mounted make it in the bloody bike or in the stupid display i really hate side mounted fingerprint um, sensors accelerometer gyro proximity and compass these are the features that you are going to get in this phone now these phones are expected to be somewhere in the price range between 20 to 50 thousand rupees so i do not know and i'm not going to make a vague speculation that this phone is going to cost this much and this phone is going to cost you this much but honestly speaking after reviewing all the products which are going to launch in february we found that these these products are pretty much good so we hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you.